That sounds like my man. Oh yes. Oh, hopefully it'll show me how to operate this post knocker because I've never seen one before, let alone use it. There he is. Look at this. Oh, this yoke. Hi, dude. Good to see you. You'll have to show me around this thing before we use it. This is be the gap, and then I'm going to put a mark on it for whenever the post goes in because I watch YouTube videos. <laughs> That's how I'm learning. It's 900 mil that the sheep wire, uh, six inches off the ground and six inches above the ground, bring us to four foot. So over for 1.3 meters we'll be in the ground you see the way the knot was well, it didn't go in any seemed didn't go in that's bound to help a lot bound to are you putting on that arse? no i'll show you no, i'll show you that fence yeah all right come on up here and i'll show you there's a wall seems to be right down this fence and i would nearly bet there's a wall there too you know like it's been built up well hey we'll throw one in that corner and then go to there and see where we get it at and then pick it from there all right we'll start down there then that's the plan Let's execute it. <laughs> Let's execute it. Execute. Whoop. It's getting real now. I'm going to learn how to operate this post driver. Finally get you some staples. That's for the hammer. Right, that's up and down. This one? That's up and down. That's the hammer's up and down. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that. Side tilt, this will get us get that square. Get you that out. Yeah. Well, that out. Well, that out. Aye, that, that, that does it on two axes. Aye, and that will get you that out. Well, that out. So, you're, what you're saying is if I don't put this post in square, it's my fault? Did you, did you hear that now? Did you hear that? It's all on me. Alright, then this here, not back whenever I go to start. Once this, the post that's in here. Once you set the post, you can send it to one of them e boys that keeps it in place, sort of thing. Uh, then not. Aye, not well. Sort of about them, but. No, but sure, whenever it starts to get a couple of taps on it, it'll soon go in. Never up like that, you get the post in, and then you set her down on it. Set her down on it. A few wee dunts to get it started, and then. And put that on. Yeah. That, that will do the hammer. But you get a couple of wee dunts on, and then do your leveling. You know. Once, yeah. Once you get a couple of wee, but. Them right. Well, we'll figure it out. We're not. I've watched a couple of boys using them on YouTube. No luck with, without having an insight. You look like a dummy. Now, now I'm going to look like uh, all the all the gear, no idea. <laughs> Probably the most, the hardest one to do. It took me five minutes. The length of this 
is the length of the post that I have marked out for the cross brace for the, the H for the strainer post. The height, the depth of the going into the sticking out of the ground is 1.3 meters. It's from my finger to here. So just to let you know. Right, we're just going to work from that corner up, adding the small ones and putting in the H brace. I'm going to set these up with the time lapse and. Uh, See how we go. Guys, this is a steep learning curve for me. Where I show you? They're a bit wonky, but we're trying to just patch in so that this fence here will look pretty. I'm actually thinking that that should have been on the back side now, but whatever. This is how you learn. Right, the battery ran out whenever I went to drive that other post in. It's a lot easier on the straight when you can walk around and see what you're doing, and the more used with it. Just here. easier I sure I'm saying these guys it's a whole lot easier when you can walk around it you know them first few tokes you know the only thing I need to do is get the hang of them levers I'm still pulling the wrong way I know it's repetition wee buns this here's gonna be a six foot gate into the what be the garden or there mates
hadn't been worked for months at all. So, they don't have a scan or anything. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here, but we're going to go with 1200. 1 1.2 meters. That's going to be the height of my fence. That's going to be the height of the barbed wire. So, sort of winging it here. Adam is knocking off the top of this here as we speak. He's a machinery man too, he knows his stuff. Today I have my tractor though. Keeping me right. This should be the way it goes. Way we would hope for it to go anyway. Look at this here, this isn't just a fencing video today. No, 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 no. Uh, it's going to end up about a meter high down there. No, the fence is going to be look low from this end. But, so it is what it is. Can't do nothing about the fall. I was on a spending spree yesterday. So, we'll show the YouTubers at the same time. The idea is, is to put have that like that right uh -huh. cut this bar and you no know, drive it through and then say four inches each side hopefully get the, the roads lined up right enough i'll only go in part of the way in the smaller posts you know like six inches set it in and then drive it through the knock it right through the big one or or actually probably end up because of the size of the bit they didn't have any bigger bits I'll probably end up going the whole way through that and no and just slugging setting it in on the bigger uh strainer post. Would you know when a big nail screen underneath it? Like right through? Aye and, and even on the on that road. You know, right through that road first and then on that road. I don't know, I was thinking of it splitting. Yeah. No, no, whenever I was watching the YouTube videos that's what they were at. <laughs> the YouTube videos are to be it. Adam's YouTuber too. Right. <laughs> right, we're getting lined up to do these H-brace. That there is equal to the lengths that I showed on the back of the trailer that goes across. These posts here, it's going to go into the ground here with that gap. And if we keep all square, it should fit. So we're doing it with one, two, three, not that one in the middle, four, five, six, seven. We've seven of these to set, and then he's out because he's got a slow puncture and he wants to go and get it fixed. And then we'll be at the mercy of whenever he's available to come back. So time lapse.
folks that's adam away he had a slow puncture in the rear of the tractor and he had to get going we've got these stays in we're putting a fence i'll be putting a post across here we'll act as a brace and the fence is going to go that way can you see the line over here stay brace stay brace brace stay whatever same down at the bottom now i'm going to have to put a board that go from here to here and i'm going to do that by drilling in through this piece and it'll drive into the 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 the, the, the other post and here i'll just tap a bolt in there which will protrude out and align them and that should make it rigid enough that it'll not pull whenever we strain the wire tight i don't know whenever he's going to be back again because like all the other guys that i have helping me they're all super busy the next time when both of us is free we're going to come back up with the tractor and we're going to drive in the rest of the posts down that way right around and hopefully get the wire erected thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one oh don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching love it